Just a few more kills to close out the series. Oh, but Vice has got something to say about that. He picks up an opening kill over here towards the long haul. Sadly, he does not have his teammates with him, so they're not able to rush in and capitalize on it as much as they would have liked. Got a distinct advantage here. So how do they play the numbers game? They know they have taken apart A at least somewhat, and they probably called upon a rotation. If they slow it down, you can maybe ask for a rotation back, but they have to get set up in positions that they can throw their utility the most effectively. The one smoke goes down at lane. What's this going to tell Space Soldiers? They've already got eyes on Arch, and Calix is playing pretty far back, but he's been mad consistent. He's ready to take the fight. He is a bit exposed, though, so that's going to leave room for Sick to trade. Engine now takes up the mantle. One more, and he gets it! As Engine will close out for the Space Soldiers, they take it! It's their first land title for 2018, and they are your 2018 DreamHack Open Austin champions! Congratulations to Space Soldiers. It was a long, hard-fought performance. It started out with a, a terrible journey here to Austin. With a lot of jet lag and lack of sleep and long bus rides, but they pulled it together, survived day one, and got better as the tournament rolled on. Space's players arriving more than 24 hours later than they were supposed to, leading to a rough first day for them, but they recovered beautifully at the end of the lower bracket brought the Heat here into the playoff bracket and now claim victory in the grand finals against Rogue. And let's not discount their performance either. A great opening map for them and a beautiful second map, but the winners are indeed here. It's Space Soldiers. Give it up for Space Soldiers. Get the host of the trophy. Congratulations. Thank you guys once again for joining the action with myself and Launders. Once again, here they are, Space Soldiers, your 2018 DreamHack Open champions for Austin. Well, congratulations to Space Soldiers. A fantastic performance from them, but I, I gotta address the elephant in the room. Apparently, I am the world's biggest optic fan without even knowing it. <laughs> I'm always thinking about the green wall. It's just the back of my you're mind. Forgiven. Don't worry. It's just always, Listen, Matt, always this is there. Space Soldiers moment. We know you're yeah, fascinated yeah. by I don't, optic. I don't understand just it. Stop talking about them for I a minute. I just don't yeah. get it. But Space Soldiers, they really did look fantastic. It's good to see them hoist a trophy. Like. It, it, there was definitely like a bit of a cathartic moment there with Xantaris picking that trophy up and holding it above his head like finally like this Turkish roster thing that I've been working on over the last several years has culminated in a big land win. Well technically they did already have one big land win uh, but th this is the first since their recent run of form. Uh, it's, it's a land that I think everyone expected them to win. Uh, they were our favorites going in along with Optic so it's not really a surprise but it was also a surprise to see them perform this well based on their very recent land performances. They have not been up to par, but oh, look at the selfies. You got, I mean, you, you gotta love it. And again, you know, we look at Calix, who had just an unbelievable series. He had a great tournament run. Uh, we we kind of looked at him early on when we were talking about what Space Soldiers was going to be capable of. We talked about Santaris, but we were like, also, Calix was kind of like the missing piece when they picked him up last February and started to turn upwards. But then they had that stale series of performances. It just wasn't working out, and he steps up big for the team. He had a, he had a great tournament. For sure, the MVP of, for, of the whole tournament, best player at uh, for Space Soldiers over here in Austin. Fantastic clutches. The semifinal was a masterpiece, and I mean, he also picked it up on the second, or towards the end of the uh, end of Inferno there, even though Zantaris really carried 10 to that 10 to 1 lead early on. Yeah, Zantaris was a monster in the first half, on, I'd say pretty much the whole game, to be honest. But Calix definitely was, was there and towards the end making the big plays. It, you could tell they were brimming with confidence because Calix was just running up mid through a smoke, headshotting someone, whipping around, doing 80 damage to another person. They had to kill him with grenades just to stop him at one point. This is something that I've seen from Space Soldiers on land too. Like they, once they start feeling confident, they're going to get insanely aggressive. Like I mentioned, when they play train, they'll run straight towards ladder room, up the ladder, and start taking fights with you while you're still running through showers. Like they have no problem taking that fight to your doorstep and then into your living room.